Hi everyone, this is Frank DeMora and today is January the 26th, 2013 and what I'm going to be doing is giving you an update on the Israeli Prime Minister Ariel Sharon because there's been a lot of speculation what's been going on uh, with the uh, Prime Minister and I'm going to explain this. But this is, as far as I'm concerned, this is really exciting and has to do with prophecy and I'm going to connect the dots for you but uh, it really could mean something of great significance so let's take a look at what I'm talking about now some time ago I did give uh, a couple of, of if you will information that Ariel Sharon he had a stroke back in 2006. You'll see it here. Sharon has been in a coma since January 2006. Seven years, right? So back in 2010, I did make a post, and I'm just going to read what I posted, and then I'm going to connect the dots, and I'm pretty sure that you're going to find this very, very interesting. And uh, so let me just read what I wrote back then. In 2010, I posted a video giving you information that the most respected rabbi in Israel had stated he had spoken to the Messiah. The rabbi was given the name of the Messiah. This is something that when I posted this way back when, a lot of people wanted to know more about this. I mean, when you're talking about the most respected rabbi giving information about who the Messiah is uh, to his nation, this is very, very significant. Now moving on, this news has shaken many people up in Israel and according to the leading rabbi, the Lord told him that when the Prime Minister Ariel Sharon dies, the Lord will come back. So that was the prophecy and uh, very, very interesting. And let me go on and I'll finish connecting the dots for you. At the time that the rabbi had made the statement, Ariel Sharon had fallen into a coma after having a stroke. Many had expected Sharon would pass on fairly soon. However, this has not been the case. Now, keep in mind that I wrote back, I wrote this back in 2010, but I did say back then, yesterday a friend of mine called me and wanted to see the 2010 video concerning the rabbi's statement as to who the Messiah was. Now, my friend asked me if very old Sharon had passed away. And I didn't have the answer, and after checking the net and finding all kinds of uh, con conflicting reports. Uh, so it's, it's been very, very hard to get information about Ariel Sharon. Is he dead? Is he not dead? And, uh, but let me connect the dots here for you. Now I want to show you the actual video that was played in 2010 that was put up about this prophecy. And this is where it's going to really get very, very interesting. So I'm going to just go right down here and I'm going to put the link here for you. You can click the link or when you go to my site, you just click the video and everything will be explained. And then I'll have one more piece of information to tie everything together. On April the 30th, 2007, just a little over three years ago, Israel Today ran this amazing headline story. Rabbi reveals the name of the Messiah. Rabbi Itzhak Kaduri was famously known for his memorization of the Bible, the Talmud, and other Jewish writings. He was a teacher and a revered master at Nahalat Yitzhak Yeshiva Seminary. He knew Jewish sages and celebrities of the last century and rabbis who lived in the Holy Land who kept the faith alive before the state of Israel was even born. Kaduri was not only highly esteemed because of his age of 108, but he was charismatic and wise. Chief rabbis looked up to him as a righteous man. Thousands visited him to ask for counsel or healing. His followers speak of many miracles and his students say that he was a prophet of many disasters. A few months before Kaduri died at the age of 108, he surprised his followers when he told them that he had personally met the Messiah. The Messiah had appeared to him. He wrote the name of the Messiah in a note, he said. His official website had mentioned the Messiah note. David Kaduri, the rabbi's 80-year-old son, confirmed that in his last year, his father had talked and dreamed almost exclusively about the Messiah and his coming. 
My father has met the Messiah in a vision, he said, and he told us that he was coming very soon. Kaduri gave a message in his synagogue on Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, teaching how to recognize the Messiah. He also mentioned that the Messiah would appear to Israel after Ariel Sharon passed. When Kaduri died, January the 28th, 2006, more than 200,000 people joined the funeral procession on the streets of Jerusalem to pay their respects as he was taken to his final resting place. Shortly before he died, this teacher of Israel wrote the name of the Messiah on a small note which he requested would remain sealed for one year. One year later, the note was opened in 2007. When the note was opened, it read as follows. Concerning the letter abbreviation of the Messiah's name, he will lift the people and prove that his word and law are valid. The Hebrew sentence with the hidden name of the Messiah reads like this. The acronym of that sentence, that is the letter abbreviation that Kaduri spoke of, or the first initials of each word, spell the Hebrew name of Jesus, or Yehoshua, or Yeshua, the Hebrew root word of salvation. When the name of Yehoshua appeared in Kaduri's message, ultra-Orthodox Jews from his seminary in Jerusalem argued that their master must not have left the exact solution for decoding the Messiah's name. The revelation received scant coverage in the Israeli media. Only the Hebrew websites, News First Class and Kaduri.net mentioned the Messiah's note, both of them insisting that it was authentic. Israel Today spoke to two of Kaduri's followers in Jerusalem who admitted that the note was authentic, but very confusing for his followers as well. We have no idea how the rabbi got to this name of the Messiah, one of them said. I know this. The answer of the identity of the Messiah as Jesus, given to Kaduri supposedly, is absolute truth. As such, I believe it had to have been revealed from Jesus himself appearing to Kaduri, much the same as Jesus appeared to the Jewish Pharisee, Paul, on the road to Damascus 2,000 years ago. It is amazing that the leading Jewish teacher of Israel until 2006 would, on his deathbed, proclaim in a message that Jesus Christ is the Messiah and is soon to return. That is astounding and almost unthinkable. It is also amazing that he was specifically told that Jesus would return shortly after Ariel Sharon's death. As of the making of this film, Ariel Sharon is still alive, in a coma. Could it be that this modern-day Apostle Paul received from the Lord Jesus that his return is indeed very, very soon? All right, so there you have it. And uh, a lot of people were wondering... Uh, if he was, in fact, and speaking of Ariel Sharon, if he was still alive. Well, let me connect the dots for you now. Uh, this is Ariel Sharon, and this is one of the, the photos that I put up back in October of 2012, last year. Now, today, there was some new news that came out that I want to connect you to right here. And this is from the Jerusalem Post. So let's take a look what the Jerusalem Post is saying to us. Former Prime Minister Ariel or Sharon shows positive signs in an MRI. It says the ex aide of Ariel Sharon says that there was some kind of positive indication in brain scans performed on the comatose former PM. So brain scans performed on the former Prime Minister Ariel Sharon last week suggested that there was a chance for some improvement in his condition. An aide to the former Prime Minister told the AFP on Friday, Sharon has been in a comatose since he had a stroke seven years ago. Now, Annie Gissin said that Sharon underwent an MRI scans at Sakurya University Medical Center in Bethesda on Thursday. 
And the test was routine, but result, results, not entirely so, because then told the AFP. There was some kind of positive indication. He did not offer any further details. Now, in October 2011, Gilad Sharon told the New York Times that his father was responsive and gaining weight. Move this up a little bit. And when he was awake, it looks, he looks at me and moves his finger when I ask him to, Gilad said, told the Times. And I'm sure he hears me. Ariel Sharon, 84, has been in a, coma, in a coma since the second stroke in January 2006, just a month after his first stroke. Now, Gilad Sharon said that the doctors encouraged him and his, and his brother, the former MK, Omar Sharon, to let their father die uh, after his second stroke. And they refused, with Gilad start, or stating that he had dreamed that the medical staff would tell him that there was no hope for his father. But he shared, or he stared at me with his look and with those gr uh, green gray eyes of his. And I knew I would never give up and I am simply, or that I simply would not leave him. So what we have here is Ariel Sharon is not dead. That's the official now. We know for sure that Ariel Sharon is not dead. And he's making uh, some, you know, obviously when you read this article, he's making some kind of improvement, which is astounding in itself after he's already had two strokes, one of which was a massive stroke. So if the prophecy that was given to this esteemed rabbi, one of the chief, the chief man in Israel, if the prophecy is, in fact, a good, real prophecy, then Ariel Sharon, who is still alive, uh, if he passes away, then everybody's going to know. We should know very, very soon that the Lord comes back according to that prophecy. Now, it is my hope that Ariel Sharon makes a full recovery. That would be astounding. And maybe it would prolong. Uh, the, the Lord's return. Who knows? All I know is it's very, very interesting uh, that the this rabbi talks about Jesus Christ as being the Messiah, which really to the Jews, especially the the uh, the leaders of the church or the leaders of the the Jewish faith. There, uh, they're getting this message from Ariel or uh, the the chief rabbi that Jesus Christ is their savior salvation from Jesus Christ. So anyway, I just wanted to give you an update. I'm hoping that you'll find this as interesting that I have because I've been watching uh, the news about anything about Ariel Sharon and today is the news. So only God knows what's going to happen from here on in. But uh, again, very interesting. This is Frank DeMora reporting from the End Times Research Ministry. God bless you all.